Uh, hello YouTube, I'm Chachi with Black and White Entertainment. Today I'll be showing you an advanced tutorial with Minecraft server. Um, if you saw my other video, I was um, I did a tutorial on setting up a server on Terraria and Minecraft using Hamachi. And today we're just going to be expanding on that. Um, you're not going to particularly need the uh, Hamachi to do this, but if you want other people to come on and join you, you're going to definitely want to have match or whatever other server software you have here. So first thing we're going to do now is um, I'm just going to show you how to customize some of the things in our server program here. As you can see I've spawned my world already. It's running um, and everything. So we're just going to type into the into the typing key here help. Oops. Now this is a this is the program right from minecraft.net on the download program menu at the bottom server software I'll put a link in the description anyways but um, here we can do different things with our server software since you're hosting you can pretty much do whatever you want so let's I'm gonna join I'm gonna join so I, I just popped in local host here and I'm gonna connect into this world we've spawned uh, darn it I Probably should have turned the monsters off. I don't know if I did, so there we go. Um, anyways, I'm just going to set the time today. So how we do that, I'll just put this to full screen here. So I go T for text and then slash time uh, set zero. And there. You've changed the time. Now, the one problem is, is you're going to first try this, and you're going to type in time, or slash time set zero, but it's going to say you're not opt or whatever, so we're going to op you. I'm already opt into my server, but how you can do this is go back to our server software here, type in OP, and then your username. So mine would be galardo12345, and hit enter. And there. I was already op, but it did it to me again, so I'm op again. So let's just... Get out of here. And there we go. It's daytime. Now, now let's spawn some things. So, online there is a Minecraft wiki containing all the block IDs. And um, those are basically what you type in when you want to spawn. So, I've kind of memorized some of them. Um, so, we're going to get some planks like I'm holding right now. So, I'm going to hit um, slash give space my username. And then 5 is the block ID for planks. And then 64, which I want 64 of them in quantity. And there. Pops right out. Now, the cool thing is, is if you have a buddy deep down in the cave and he's not opt or something, you can also spawn him like torches or something just by typing in his username from your uh, typing window. Anyways, so that's how we do different things here. You can even teleport. I think it's slash TP and then my username and then who I want to teleport to. So let's just say some guy named Bob was his username. As soon as, soon as I type in Bob right there and hit enter, there, can't find user Bob, no, te no teleport. Because so, he's not on here. I don't even know him, he's a made up character. But anyways, so that's how we, um, that's how we spawn things and do server commands when you're opt into the server. Um, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fiddle with some of our with some of our settings like monsters and other things like that. Um, so what you do is you go into your folder where you have all your um, your world stored with your server application right here, and when you launch the application, it's going to put all this in. It's going to generate your world and generate all these other files here. So we're going to find our server file here and right click and hit edit, I believe. Yep, there we go maximize this here. Now uh, some things here are uh, we have level name so this is gonna name your world so if I were to type in a new name right here um, and then launch the server software it would spawn a whole new one unless if you have a world already there with that exact name so that's how you switch between worlds that you've generated so in case you want to go from like a desert world into like a like a forest world play on two different worlds then you just type in the name that you already preset when you generated them. Allow the nether. Uh, so I guess you got all you Minecraft dudes know what 
know what that's about. Ha! <laughs> view distance, you can type in how much view you want. Spawn monsters, whether you want on peaceful or not, you just type in false. Ah! False. False. There we go. <laughs> Spawn monsters, false. And when you're done, when you want to save, you just hit here and save, and it'll overwrite it all. And as soon as you launch that server with this name and these settings, then that's which whatever settings you put in here will um, the server will be at. So then spawn animals if you don't want animals spawning in there. Maximum players. So if you only want like five guys and you want random people coming in or something. Level seed. This is a fun one, especially when uh, you want to use like the level seed called Glacier, which is a very very lush world, I guess you would call it. Um, so you just type, you go online, find a level seed, type it in here like Glacier, like just just as they spell it, put it in your level seed, render a new world, um, and then you'll, and then that's the kind of map that will form. Now each seed is exactly the same, partly because I, I know this partly because I tried spawning this world Glacier twice, and it's exactly the same, the maps. Server ports, I'm not going to fiddle with that, I might do another tutorial on that later, but... Um, allow flight and whitelist, but that's pretty much it for semi-advanced techniques. Once we're done, we just hit save, close this, and reboot our server. So just type in stop, saves it, and then launch it again. There we go. Go to our multiplayer here, connect. There we go. We're back to where we started this time though. There's no monsters. It's on peaceful. Um, it'll be on peaceful no matter what setting you have in your in your options menu here. Um, just because uh, they set it up so that allows the whoever's hosting to decide what difficulty is. I yeah, it'd be kind of annoying having 50 players all wanting different uh, difficulties. But anyways, yeah. Um, this this tutorial contains no mods as, as you have seen. Um, I'm I'm not one for modding. I don't like modding very much. I like to play the game just as they made it. So I will not, pro most likely, will not be doing any modding tutorials unless if I do them with some friends that I know. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other tutorial on um, on setting up a network with Terraria and Minecraft using Hamachi, and check out some of my other Minecraft videos on my other channel which I'll put in the description here along with um, the channel you guys are watching this on right now. Check out my Facebook page, my Steam group and, and whatever like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys or see you guys soon. Yeah.